Hi, Brandon. Um, welcome. Uh, I'm going to give a minute more or so for students to join in, and then we'll get started. Uh, thanks for your patience. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining in, Brandon. I appreciate you uh, being here today. Uh, could I ask a quick question? Are you in my lecture that met earlier this morning? Um, yes, I am in the lecture. I don't, I, let's see. Um, I don't know of one meeting earlier in the morning I have I got on Canvas the every Tuesday and Thursday at eleven thirty to twelve forty five unless that's, otherwise specified. That's um, for the lab class. What are you in the lecture that the one thousand course that's virtual as well? Um, I believe so. Yes, ma'am. But I, well, I did not know that we that that course meets at ten o'clock in the mornings. Oh, okay. I I was not aware of that. Yeah, two different courses. If you're in lecture and lab, that's that's two different courses. Yes, ma'am. I am in the lecture. I'm in the thousand uh, a dash or two. Oh, that's that's totally online. So you're good there. Okay. All right. Um. So then the totally online class should I still I should still meet for this this uh this lab though, right? Absolutely. The lecture and lab are two separate classes, and you're in a fully online class. For lecture which doesn't have any meetings but this uh, virtual lab does have meetings every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 30. So you're okay. you're absolutely in doing the right thing. Uh, you just have to uh, work through the lecture class independently. Of course I'm, I'm available to support you with any questions you might be having as you work through the lecture course but uh, this course you will have the benefit of you know, having this specified FaceTime with me, so to speak, uh, during our virtual meetings. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So um, I wanted, what I wanted to do today was to spend some time uh, acclimating you to the actual course. So bear with me. Okay. Are you seeing the 
course homepage now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Uh, so, as you can see that right from the homepage, and by the way, I, I apologize. I'm Dr. Xenon. Um, I'm sure you no, saw, that's fine. saw my name yes, specified in different places, but uh, since you know this is our first formal meeting, uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Xenon, and uh, I'll be uh, helping you through this lab course uh, throughout this semester. Uh, right on the home page, you have a link to join the class meetings. You have my contact information. And just below that, you have a link to virtual office hours. So if you're needing me uh, for office hours, you can click on that link. It is a different link than the one we use for class. Okay. The class okay. are recorded. So I do record these meetings and I share those recordings in the announcements. It usually takes me about 24 hours to get the, the video from this course captioned. And then once it's captioned, I post it in the announcements. But if you're needing me for office hours, you can see that right on the home page, there's a link to join in and I'm available from nine in the morning till 10 on Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, just click the link and join in. If I'm with another student, I'll just kind of put you in a holding waiting room. And then when I'm done, I'll let you in because it is kind of a first come first serve thing. You don't need it. Okay. Make sense? Yes, ma'am. All right. And then uh, there's a link there that says connection details. All that that does is it takes you to um, my schedule to remind you of my office hours. But uh, more important than that, it explains uh, that some technical details re regarding Zoom, which uh, the fact that you're here says you got most of that worked out. But if you're ever in need of some technical support with Zoom, if you click on that connection details link, it'll take you to where you can get some help. Uh, okay. if you know, if Zoom's kind of giving you grief, um, just below yeah. that, you see um, that there is uh, an information that says you must be using your new NAS Canvas login to utilize the this course. Mm -hmm. So, meaning if you're a student at maybe like Delgado or you know what, any of the other colleges, if you log into Zoom from their page the left menu is not going to be fully functional, okay? So anytime you want to access information and materials for this course, make sure that you're using the new NAS Canvas login. And I put the link there so that you would, you know, readily have access to it. So if you come in from another school, you'll have to log out and log back in through that link. All right, and that's because I've customized the left menu and, um, and, and when, when you do that kind of thing, you can only access that customized menu from the course that it's part of, okay? Okay. So below that, I explain what each of the navigation item links are on the left menu, okay? So, you know, home button brings you home, the announcements about yes, the course, so on and so forth. I discuss, you know, what information are you going to see there when you click on that link? So you know how to navigate to find the things that you need. And I'll, I will just say up front to you, there are, you know, um, the, the syllabus link, the course documents link, the weekly overviews links. Those are some pretty important links that you will definitely want to give some time to. You should look at all of them, but, um, you know, the syllabus, course documents, and weekly overviews, those are vital to your success in this course. So uh, that's why this week I, I did not put any kind of experiments or anything like that on our schedule because I like for the you know students to have an opportunity to, to navigate, see where things are at, get comfortable with the, the structure and format of the course. And then um, you know, next week we'll 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 get to some starting some experiments and so on and so forth. Okay, so this week, the task is for you to get comfortable with the course and introduce yourself. And I'll, I'll show you uh, some other uh, important aspects of the course here in just a moment. Any questions on the whole navigation piece? Um, no, ma'am. Uh, I do want to let you know that uh, actually today after this, after this meeting, um, I actually am going to get a laptop because I, I don't have one that I can bring with me to and from school or to utilize for school. 
So right. uh, my apologies that I haven't. I know that you put some stuff on Canvas, and I tried doing it on my phone. Yeah, um, but the but it's it's a lot easier having a, a laptop. I I had a, a a desktop, but it's it's so much easier with a laptop. So I'm I'm gonna go get a laptop today and get it all set up with Canvas and start getting all those assignments completed. Oh yeah, no no worries. Uh, the, that that's the whole point of this week, right? Because it would be terrible if I said, okay, today's our first meeting and tonight you have an assignment due. That would be just like you know really pushing it, right? And especially yeah. given the fact that this uh, past Tuesday, I did not actually meet with you guys. <coughs> I had the ten o'clock class, and then after that class, I took sick. I took uh, very very ill. And um, I had to get medical attention. So I was not able to meet this class on Tuesday. So I get it. You know, you need you need until this weekend or so to get some things done. And, and that's perfectly fine. OK. Yeah, I, so, I was I was trying to get a laptop, but uh, I couldn't. And, and we all share a we all share a computer here. Uh, right. <laughs> I got a household of four and we all share a computer. So it's kind of tough to get the computer when I need it. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, um, yeah. Well, so and also, you let them know you that you're that doing better. You'll, 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 you'll do just fine. Um, so, um, below the information on how you navigate the course, I have like a paragraph there that tells you exactly what you need to do first. It tells you your first task is to review all of the items on the left side menu, especially the syllabus, the weekly overviews, and the course documents, what I, basically what I just said. Once you have mm -hmm. familiarized yourself with these items, proceed to the weekly overviews and complete week one. That is very critical that you complete week one because I have to give an attendance report and they, re they mandate that our attendance report um, be based on <clears throat> not just who showed up, but who actually completed some type of assignment. So if you do that for me, then I have no issue when I have to turn in an attendance report saying, yes, this student has been present. They've been working. Leave, they should stay in the course because if I, if I don't have that, then I have to report you as a no-show. And that means they go and drop you from the course, right? And nobody okay. wants to have to go through the headache of dealing with them again to try to get back into the course and then catching up and all those things. So, I, I, you know, if you're going to get you a laptop here in the next day or so, if you complete the week one activities, which are very basic, if you complete that by Saturday at 11.59 p.m., you'll be more than just fine, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. So now on the right side of the, the course page, notice there's a to-do list. So to-do list and like coming up. It, mine looks a little bit different because I'm an instructor. It's telling me what I have to grade and all those kinds of things. But it's basically a to-do list that's on the right side. My suggestion is do not use the right side menu to access the assignments. Use it as a reminder tool, right? Oh, I have these things I need to get done, but don't click on them there. Instead, when you want to access the actual assignments, click on the weekly overviews and access them there. And I'll take you in there and show you just a moment why that, that will work better for you, okay? Okay. Uh, so there's also a course calendar on the right side. Um, you can click on that anytime you want to. That calendar is filled out for the remainder of the semester. So again, you could kind of get a lay of the land and see, oh, in this month we have these things coming up and that kind of thing, right? But yes, to access the actual assignments, use the weekly overviews. And we'll go there in just a minute since that's pretty important. Uh, below all of this stuff here, notice it tells you that you can, you know, when you email me something, I, I respond. I I try not to make students wait. I try to check email periodically throughout the day. You know, you might get a response from me three in the morning. It just depends. You know, I, I eat, sleep, and drink email, to be honest, because I'm always, you know, mindful that students are reaching out to me and they need feedback. So I try, I, I try at my level best to reply to you within 24 hours. Most times it never takes me that long. But if you don't hear a response from me, in 24 hours, it means I didn't get your email. So I always tell students, you don't have to email me saying, did you get that? If I didn't respond to you, I didn't get it, okay? And then just yes, reset again. You know, I try not to be too crazy about that kind of thing because I know technology can be like, you know, it can be uh, something to deal with at times. 
I, I'm la- I'm actually lecturing today from my office, but I'm using my personal laptop because my work laptop, my computer, will not maintain internet access. It keeps kicking me out. So I had to I always carry a backup because I know technology can be really crazy. So, you know, think with that mindset. I always tell students, um, it's never a good plan to wait until the last minute to try to do something because you never know what's going to go wrong, right? Um, you know, kind of plan to try to do things and give yourself a little bit of grace in case something happens. Um, now, so just below that notice about email, you see a link to my bio and some just science news. If you like, if you want to know something about me beyond, you know, our hello today, feel free to take a look. Uh, the science news is just lanyap as we say in louisiana it's not anything that i mandate but you know i always whenever i find something cool in the news or something being shared out there you know for the public consumption i try to i try to bring that in uh, just you know the to maintain an interest factor if you will okay so any questions on the home page how you navigate things how you get started any of that kind of thing um no ma'am uh i i guess uh um, to, uh, simplify everything that you just said to really need to pay attention to weekly overviews and, um, and the, uh, the, the calendar. So I can be a a step ahead of what's coming. Uh, the syllabus is, is critical as well, because actually in the week one assignment, you're going to, your, your task to read the syllabus. And I'm going to show you in just a moment, your task to review the syllabus you actually have to sign and date the last page and send it back to me. And I'll talk about that in just a few moments. But yeah, the syllabus, course documents, and the weekly overviews. The other areas, um, you know, they're definitely important for you. But the, the information that you'll find in those other areas is pretty much covered in the syllabus, right? So I, ha- I try to, uh, where I can, and you know, as much as possible not to over clutter things, but I try to make sure you have access to information in more than one place. So if you're looking in the syllabus, you're pretty much going to get a really good feel for how, what this course is about and how we're going to do things. You know, the syllabus is basically our contract, right? Um, yes, the ma'am. course documents are all of the administrative tools. So information on a textbook and so on and so forth. And then uh, the weekly overviews are your breakdown of your assignments. So that's where I'm gonna jump to because you can take a look at the syllabus on your own. But what I wanna do is show you why it's important to use the weekly overviews as opposed to the calendar or the to-do list to accomplish your assignments. They're good reminder tools, like you said, to stay ahead, but the best place to access the assignment information is through the weekly overviews. And you can see when you click on that, basically, and right at the top, I have the Zoom link, you know, an event you need to join the class. But you can see I've broken the course down by weeks. And each week I tell you what topic we're covering. What's, you know, what's the major thing we're trying to accomplish that week, right? And then if you click into the link, so like this week is all about introductions. When you click on that, you see you have the objectives for the week. You have the activities and assignments for the week. And then you have the uh, resources to help you uh, complete those activities, right? (coughs) So um, the objectives for this week is for you to get comfortable with the course layout and to introduce yourself to your classmates and the activities that you have to complete. So you see, I tell you here, be sure to review the syllabus. There's a link to the syllabus. I ask you to sign and date and email me the last page of the syllabus. There it is. Uh, I give you instructions on how you submit that to me. So that's very critical. How do you turn things into me? See, you don't upload things on Canvas for me, you email them to me. So that's important for you to follow, right? So week one is really me trying to get you into the mode of how does this class work, right? Um, you see, you have some some uh, discussions and uh, the course quiz to complete. And it tells you that all of those items are due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. And you have links to each item that you have to complete. And then 
if you need some resources to complete those items, I've given you some tools that can help you, right? And that's important because if, for example, let's take a look at, you know, two weeks from now, what are we going to be doing? Let's see. So two weeks from now, we'll be doing graphing. And if you click on that, you see there are all of the objectives for our graphing. Okay. So I always tell students, objectives are what are the kinds of things you should be learning? Okay. And then there are the activities that you'll complete. So you can see there's an experiment. There's information on the lab report, so on and so forth, right? And I tell you exactly when they're due. And then I give you some tools and resources that you can utilize to complete those items. Every week is broken down like that. Every week. What are you supposed to be learning? What do you have to do? The items you need to get that done and some resources to help you move through those activities. So that's why the weekly overviews are important because if you click on the items on the right side in the to-do list, it's a great to have a to-do list to be a reminder. But if you click on those things, you're not going to find the items that you need to complete. Does that make sense to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that's why I always tell students, I can't turn off that to-do list. That's a Canvas feature that I don't have control over. But what I've done is I've given you, you know, in the weekly overviews, the meat of what it is you need to be dealing with in this course. You know, if you click on, um, you know, the graphing lab report, you won't find the experiment there. And that's what a lot of students do. They click on the things on the right side, the to-do list. And then they email me saying, well, how am I supposed to get this lab report done? I don't see anything to write about or what do I do? And I said, again, the uh, instructions under start here tell you to get familiar. If you look at the weekly overviews like you're supposed to in week one, you would know that's where I'm going to find the things that I need. Okay. Yes, All right. So um, with that, what I want to ask is, what are your questions at this point? Is there anything that I can answer to help you, uh, you know, in making a good start in this class? Um, no, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, yeah. I guess the big thing there was, uh, you know, we're not sending anything through Canvas. We're sending everything through email. That's correct. And if you go, if you have an opportunity to log into the lecture, you will <coughs> lecture is formatted almost identical to this course, right? The, I, my courses are structured in a very similar fashion, okay? Because, uh, you know, I don't want to have one course looking and designed one way and another totally different, and you're trying to keep both of my courses are formatted in a very similar fashion. I will say to you, the difference between lecture and lab is in lab, you're going to be doing experiments. In lecture, you're going to be doing some homeworks, right? But even though they are formatted and structured very similarly, you have to complete the week one assignments for both classes. Yes, they are the same, but you have to do it for both classes because that's one of my record keeping mechanisms to say that you were introduced to the course in a, you know, orderly kind of fashion and you went through that. So you should be OK. All right. So uh, when you log into the lecture, don't skip the week one assignments for the lecture just because it look, they're the same as those you complete in the lab. Do it for both classes. All right. All right. Yeah. OK. And um, if you're working this week or this weekend at any point, if you have any questions, don't wait to contact me. Contact me with whatever your question is. Uh, I tell students the most important thing is that you feel comfortable with what it is you're about to get into and you have a clear picture in your mind of how you're going to be proceeding. And that's critical for this class, but think about it. You're working through a totally online class independently. How important is it for you to get those questions answered up front in a class like that? It's critical because you don't see me on a weekly basis, right? So, any kind of question that you're having, don't hesitate. And you can always write in the weekly overviews where you're working each week. I always have, and I'll show you what I mean, 
in the activities, I always have, you see, post any questions that you have in the class questions forum. So, and then there's a link to the class questions forum. Okay, I gotta go fix that page. It's got a little bit of a HTML glitch there. I'll fix that though, no problem. But you see, every weekly overview has a link to the class questions. And then under useful links, there is also a link to the class questions forum. And under useful links, you will find some additional tools that can help you. These are additional tools. They are not the same as the tools in the weekly overviews. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm really glad that you joined me today. Um, I, you know, probably wish more students would have joined in today, but I'm definitely glad you're here. And please, at any point, Brandon, reach out to me if you have questions. I, I, this is a, a class that, you know, you can, you can definitely get through. You can be very successful at it. I always tell students, I want all my students to do well and make A's. And the only way that happens is if we're in communication, anytime something doesn't make sense to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll see you back here on Tuesday and we'll get started with our first experiment. Uh, if you have any questions between now and then reach out to me. Otherwise have a really great weekend. And yes, ma'am. You too. You're all set up. Yeah. Uh, glad to know that you're feeling better. Yeah, I, I was feeling pretty bad on Tuesday. I, I, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. It's, it's just really something that uh, I wasn't expecting at all. But I'm here. We're going to get through this together. So uh, have a great weekend. Yes, ma'am. You too. Bye now.